Pilots, you know, have this history from World War I on of, you know, the, the Knights of the Air, and they paint their airplanes, and they have fancy helmets. But by the time the Vietnam War started, the Navy had said, you know, no personalizing the airplanes. The only exception was an aircraft named Lady Jessie. The way that it came about that there was an aircraft that had nose art on it was because of two very special people, and that was Lieutenant Commander Dick Perry and Jesse Beck. Dick Perry was one of those very special people. He was a superb pilot, a really excellent naval officer, and he was just a good guy. Men like Dick Perry, thank God they were there to lead us into this. Uh, because it was pretty bad. I lost three roommates in 67, two which were KIA, and the third was a POW. The plane basically exploded, and I just came out of a ball of fire. Every few weeks, he would say, I'm not going to make it home to Janine. We made it till last week. It was a tough, tough, tough time. Jesse Beck he read newspaper stories about morale and issues such as that. So she put together care packages to send to Dick and his friends. Three, four foot by three, four foot boxes of goodies, and everybody loved it. Packages, almost every mail call. Dick wrote back and said, this is, you're sending too much. And she uh, started sending even more stuff. It seems like such a little thing. It wasn't like in World War II where the whole country was mobilized. So we were pretty much out there on our own. The Rolling Thunder operation just started cranking up and we were flying three Alpha strikes a day. I saw his airplane in almost a 90 degree bank. And then there was one big whoomph. I was shot down the fifth day of the cruise, and I was the seventh pilot to be shot down. The uh, helicopter pilot called and said, pilot, get in the water, massive chest wound. It was a complete surprise, because I was just sure he was alive, you know. He, uh, you gotta hand it to Jesse, I mean, as crushed as she was, she just carried on and she did more and more. She expanded from our two squadrons to uh, army units, air force units. She collectively got lots and lots of people involved in this. She was an amazing woman. All of a sudden Lady Jessie was painted on our number one airplane. It became a really famous airplane, the most famous A4. Jesse became such a mother to us all. It was just the right thing to do.